The Chihuahua breed is native to Mexico and is currently the smallest dog breed in the world. They are usually known for their big ears, pointed muzzle, and large eyes. They have a lot of personalities and can be your best friend. They are very affectionate and loyal dogs and love to hang out and be around people all day long. One thing you should know about the Chihuahuas is that they are not very tolerant of other dogs in the house. So if you have another pet at home, it may cause some trouble between them. In addition, Chihuahuas can be quite vocal, meaning lots of barking when they don't feel right, such as when somebody knocks on the door in the middle of the night. Furthermore, these small dogs are also comical, interesting, expressive, and devoted. They like crawling on their blankets, licking anything in sight, and dancing. Now, let's take a look at their personality. Well, I won't generalize a Chihuahua's personality, because there is nothing general about Chihuahuas. As a matter of fact, Chihuahuas have a wide range of personalities. Such as, some are energetic and some can be calm and quiet. Some are brave and some are timid. Some are aggressive and some are laid back. Some are confident and some are nervous, and so on. Frankly, a Chihuahua's genetic disposition, or how a Chihuahua turns out, is based on the Chihuahua's parents and grandparents. If you adopt or purchase a Chihuahua with undesirable temperament due to inherited genes, well, first and foremost, that's not a good idea unless you're up for the challenge. Let's just say that no amount of pricey training or socialization can usually overcome your Chihuahua's unfavorable inherited genes. However, socializing and training are still crucial. But that is assuming your Chihuahua is genetically predisposed to a normal temperament. If that's the case, then how you parent your Chihuahua will influence how he develops. With that being said, keep in mind that spoiling a dog, such as treating him like a stuffed toy or an infant, is usually not the recommended way to raise him. For the most part, spoiling a dog makes the owner happy, while in the meantime, you are unknowingly raising an insecure dog that is constantly barking, growling, etc. All dogs, regardless of size, must be trained to be on their feet, obey commands, and coexist peacefully with the rest of the world. If done, this will result in a Chihuahua that is confident and stable. In addition, Chihuahuas enjoy warmth. They like to be under comforters, towels, and blankets. So, you should look before you sit, since your Chihuahua could be hiding below. Also, keep in mind that your Chihuahua trembles a lot whenever he's excited or nervous. We all know that owning a pet comes with both pros and cons. So, let's take a look at the pros and cons of owning a Chihuahua. The pros are Number 1. Size Because of their tiny size, Chihuahuas are very portable and make an excellent pet for people who live in apartments or who have a small living space or for city dwellers. Plus, because they're lightweight, they're easy to pick up which is very useful for senior Chihuahua owners. Number two, they can easily be trained to walk on a leash. Number three, they don't need a lot of space or exercise. Number four, they are playful and social. Number five, less grooming needs compared to other small dogs. Their coats require less brushing than other dogs' coat because they are single-coated. Plus, their nails never grow that long, so they don't need frequent nail clipping. Number six, Chihuahuas love to cuddle. 
Number seven. Some people say that Chihuahuas have very curious personalities and are always looking to explore new things in their environment, which makes them fun to watch. Number eight. They love sunny, warm weather. Number nine. Health and lifespan. They are among the healthiest and longest living dog breeds, which is a huge plus. A Chihuahua lifespan ranges from 13 to 15 years, and it is possible for them to live a healthy life throughout. A Chihuahua is more prone to injury than to disease or illness. Now, here are the cons. Number one, their size. The Chihuahuas are the smallest dog breed in the world. Both the male and female weight ranges from 3 to 6 pounds. Needless to say, they are fragile and are prone to accidents. Chihuahua owners must be careful not to injure their small dog by accidentally stepping or sitting on him. Number 2. Housebreaking Chihuahuas are one of the most difficult breeds to housebreak due to their small bladder size, and this is especially true in wet or colder weather. Alternatively, if you live in a cold or a rainy climate, consider having an inside litter box or a doggy door that allows your Chihuahua access to a sheltered or covered potty area. Number three is not a surprise. Cold weather. Chihuahuas do not do well in the cold. Therefore, during the winter months, owners must be cautious when taking their Chihuahua outside. Number four, excessive barking. Number five, they are not recommended pets for most children. Chihuahuas are not recommended as pets for small children or toddlers, since they may treat him like a toy and can accidentally hurt the dog. Adults of all ages who can spend a significant amount of time with a little companion dog will find Chihuahuas to be great companions. Which leads to number six. They require attention. Chihuahuas crave lots of love and attention from their owners. In addition, owners must keep in mind that they need to spend lots and lots and lots of time with their Chihuahua, which might be a con for those who have hectic schedules. Number seven, Chihuahuas have a tendency to become snappy when they're not getting enough attention. Number eight, bad behaviors. Yes, bad behaviors. As a result of poor parenting, being spoiled, babied, having no rules, and not being trained to behave, a Chihuahua will develop bad behaviors, such as being spiteful, mischievous, relentless suspicion, which often results in endless yapping, which is barking in a high-pitched tone. Number nine, wary of strangers and other dogs. Yes, your Chihuahua is on the defense when it comes to strangers and other dogs. Therefore, it is extremely vital that you teach him to obey the word no in order to stop him from barking and acting suspiciously or aggressively towards strangers and other dogs.